So three months ago, the Westchester city of New Rochelle became the first hot zone of the COVID-19 pandemic in our area. Right. So the virus then spread rapidly following a funeral and a bat mitzvah at a local synagogue. And it caused officials to put up a one mile containment zone all around the area. Well, now the city, believe it or not, is preparing to reopen today, along with the rest of Westchester County. So weighing in on New Rochelle's reopenings is the mayor, Noam Bransom, who joins us now. Mayor, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Glad to be with you. Okay, so today marks phase one of this reopening of the Mid-Hudson region of New York, which includes Westchester, Rockland, Dutchess, Putnam, Orange, Sullivan, and Ulster counties. Are you worried about such a populated region of New York State reopening? No, I think that having faced COVID-19 ahead of almost everyone else in the country, we can take special satisfaction in reaching this milestone, uh, some pride in having gotten here through strength and wisdom and also be confident in our capacity to continue making progress towards a, a full reopening. We, we understand that this is going to be a phased process, that many restrictions will remain in place as we move through the process. And up till now, the people of Nourishell and the region have been able to uh, take direction from public health authorities and do what they need to do in order to protect themselves and their families. So how is New Rochelle looking as far as reopening? What, what sort of restrictions, what kind of rollout plan do you have? Well, we're very pleased that construction can resume. We're in the midst of uh, an economic development boom that's the largest in our history, and to have those activities be able to recommence is very exciting. And of course, our, our retail sector is pleased that they can begin at least partial uh, reopening with a curbside and in-store uh, pickup. So that'll be a, a boost to our local economy. We know that there are some services that will have to wait for future phases, uh, and large gatherings are still uh, prohibited. Uh, we know that we have to continue uh, practicing physical distancing, using face masks, uh, acting responsibly. But generally, I think there's a, a feeling of uh, excitement and optimism, uh, pleasure that we've gotten this far and uh, looking forward to continuing to make progress. Yeah, definitely. But with that excitement comes the concern that reopening is going to, I guess, throw some of those lessons that we learned from social distancing out the window because people are just ready to get back to normal. Are you concerned about that? And what are you going to do to monitor it? Well, concern is not the right word. It, it is an issue. If we go back to business as usual prematurely, then, uh, then we'll uh, go backwards. And that would be the wrong thing for any of us to do. So we're going to be emphasizing that message using every opportunity, all of our communication channels. We're fortunate to be working with strong partners in the business community, our Chamber of Commerce, our Business Improvement District. So all of us are going to be singing from the same hymnal and reminding business owners and individuals alike what we have to do in order to make sure that we continue moving in the right direction. Um, so as long but as we act wisely, uh, we, know that, that we know that we'll make progress. Again, how do you enforce it, though? Are you going to do summonses? Uh, are you going to have people out on, you know, officers out on the streets? How, how are you enforcing this? Well, per the state's directives, uh, each business must produce its own safety plan that is available on the premises and can be checked by enforcement authorities as needed. What we've experienced so far is that the great majority of people uh, self-enforce. They recognize their own responsibilities and they, they act in an appropriate fashion. Uh, if there are complaints, either from the public or from others, then uh, the police department will follow up and investigate. Uh, in almost every instance, um, simply a word indicating that people have to function differently, uh, providing them with information about the requirements, that is generally sufficient in order to achieve compliance. Last question here. Are you worried about a second wave? And if so, what are you doing to prevent it and be prepared? We're all worried about a second wave, um, and we all understand that if we let down our guard too soon, the virus can come back. Indeed, there are still active cases in our community. Let's be clear, it hasn't been entirely eradicated. Uh, but I think the state has laid out an excellent framework for monitoring conditions, for ensuring that we have an adequate stock of uh, PPE, for making sure that we have adequate space in our hospitals and in our ICUs. And we've all received an education over the last few months of what we have to do in order to protect ourselves and our families. If we keep it up, we'll continue making progress. All right, Mayor Bramson, good luck with the reopening in phase one. We appreciate your time joining us today to talk about it. Stay safe out there. Thank you. Appreciate it.